Hi, John here. Today I'm going to do a short video about tidal power generation. I've loaded up the model on the website. We can see it here. You can see that the ocean is on the left hand side. There is a barrage or a barrier here stopping the ocean flowing into a bay or an estuary on the right hand side. And we use the barrage or barrier to block the sea when it's trying to come into the estuary or the bay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push play. Now we'll see the animation in action. Notice the tide on the left now is increasing slightly. I'm going to pause it there. There is no flow or very little flow from the seaside to the right hand side or into the bay area. The reason is this wicket gate, which is the area just here. You can see just behind this blue piece here, this is called a wicket gate. The wicket gate was closed so there can be no flow from the sea to the bay or the estuary area. Notice that you can also close these gates here. This is called a sluice gate and there's another sluice gate on the right and that will completely isolate the turbine hydraulically and that means there is also no flow. But the water level has increased here. It's at a higher level on the seaside than it is on the bay or the estuary side here. Now if I push play, the wicket gate has now opened and we're getting flow. You can see the wicket gate here is just open. We're getting flow now coming across this bulb turbine, this is a cross section of a bulb turbine. It's imparting thrust upon these propeller blades here. This is what we call a control pitch propeller. And we're turning the turbine. The turbine turns a generator and we generate electricity. Now notice these blades change position so that we can generate electricity in two directions. The water level, I'll just pause it here a second, is now equal. The sea or the tide is up, it's at its high point, so the tide's in, and the bay is full. So we can't get any more water in the bay, so the water level between the two sides is equal. There's no flow between the two sides because there's no pressure differential between the two sides. However, once the tide begins to recede on this side, we can leave the wicket gate closed until there's at least two meters difference in height or head of pressure between the sea and the bay area. Once we have that two meters, that sufficient flow in order to drive the turbine will impart thrust upon the blades, drive the turbine and generate electricity. Let's play the animation again. Hopefully in a minute we'll be able to see the water draining out from the seaside. Here we go, it comes down. Notice that there's no flow. Keep an eye on the wicket gate. The wicket gate is now opening because there's sufficient difference in height between the two levels. That means there's sufficient flow going to occur once we open the wicket gate. And the blades should be also adjusting position. You just see that now. Notice they're spinning around. This is because we want to impart maximum thrust onto the blades as the water's flowing across. And in order to do this, we have to be able to adjust the position of these blades. That's why they call it a control pitch propeller. When you adjust the position of the blades, you're adjusting the pitch. Again, the flow is stopped because the water level on the two sides is equal. You'll need at least two meters difference between the two sides in order to generate electricity. That is essentially how hydroelectric generation works. Relatively simple process. You're artificially controlling the difference in height between the two water levels in order to get a high flow from one area to another until the pressure is equalized. And then we're going to use that high flow to generate electricity. If you want to help us out, please like or share the video on Facebook or Twitter. And if you really want to support us, check out our Patreon page. Thanks very much for your time.